I'm going to press record. Uh, greetings, everyone. We're here for the Himmelville Teens uh, Venture into Aroma Freedom Technique once again. And we just introduced Bishara Wilson, um, who is an acupuncturist in Brooklyn, and uh, he'll share his new addresses with us later. We also have on the line uh, Saida Ahmed Pauli, and, or is it Wallen Pauli? Wallen Pauli. Wallen Pauli. And she's in Lancaster, California. And uh, Sister Saida is, is my spiritual teacher. And she teaches me to stay on point and to obey God. And I'm so appreciative of that for her. Um, and for her just being who she is in the world. She is a uh, spiritual counselor and coach par excellence and a wonderful artist. And we also have Frank, Frank Gracia from the Bronx. And, and Frank, uh, we put you on the spot last week and we didn't get to, to share a little bit about you and your background, but I met you in uh, Pennsylvania, in Philly at a, at a presentation and I was sharing the emotional freedom technique and you were with another gentleman who was sharing his products, his natural products. And, uh, and, and you have an interest in, in holistic and, and natural living. Did you want to share more about your background? Well, there's not much to say, right? You know, not much to say. Um, I'm pretty much um, unemployed right now. Um, and that's basically it. And, and if, you're, if you're looking and seeking employment, maybe that's one of your goals in terms of this call. <laughs> um, is that a possible goal or is it still, you gonna stick with the smoking? Uh, no, um, well, as far as um, get, um, employment, I'm not really looking for anything now. Good for you, you're self-employed. Uh, well, you could say I was, um, Self-employed. I, I was. I had my own business, but now you could say I'm pretty much retired. Okay, got it, got it, got it. So um, I see B Bashar has put himself on mute because he's moving around. Um, thank you, Bashar. If you want to just come in and say something, you can. Um, what we're doing, this, just to give the background, the purpose of these calls um, are to lead up to our October sixth session that we want to be a lot more public and a lot more um, people online. And hi, Olga. Olga's just come in. Olga Barnwell Gift. Can you see me? Can you hear me? Hi. It's oh, kind of noisy over there, I guess. <laughs> anyway, we just heard some stuff. But welcome. I'm glad you're here. And um, sorry about the, well, not sorry, but we had a little switch in the time. The time is when it is. Right, and um, okay. just started being on the on the phone and attracting folks, and so it's just um, how it is today. So thank you for for joining us, and um, I know Cheryl's not joining us. I think Shakira Abdul Ali might join us a little later, mm. and um, um, right now we have Bishara and Frank and and Sai Foley on. You can see everybody, right, Olga? Yes, I can. How, hello, everyone. Hello to you too, ma'am. How are you tonight? Yeah, yeah, you may want to switch your your um computer or your laptop so so the light can really find you like that because it you, you came in dark really. Yeah, yeah, that's a little better. That's better. So anyway, you may want to put yourself in mute for a moment. I'm just gonna introduce what we're doing. So on October 6th, we are planning to have a session entitled Removing slave slash master syndrome using essential oils. And these Monday evening meetings are for us to fine tune and just shape and look at what we're planning and make sure we're, we're um, you know, we've worked out kinks, so to speak. And what we've already discovered from my review with other people who were uh, involved last time, is that we actually didn't complete the full circuit of the activity that we're doing with these oils. The technique that we're practicing, um, Bashar, especially for your benefit, is called aroma freedom technique. And so um, <clears throat> that is a technique 
developed by psychologist Dr. Benjamin Perkis. He's here right here in upstate New York, actually. And he's written a book called Aroma Freedom Technique as well. And um, I don't have it right here, but I shall in a moment. I was looking with it, now it's disappeared. Okay, so I have those books available and you can also go on his website to get that book. I've actually just sent all of you um, through the Young Living Interface, I've sent you the links to get the book. Um, it's available on Facebook, he has it on Amazon, he has a variety of websites where he talks about the book. And um, the um, instruction for becoming certified as an Aroma Freedom Technique person is this Wednesday. Starts in, starts uh, two days from now at 8 o'clock, so I'll be in that course. Okay? So what we're doing is using the, the technique that he's devised and, and seeing if we can expand on it, seeing what we learn from it. We've already gotten some great feedback um, in terms of expanding it um, from Sai just before everyone got on. And so we are going to begin again. We don't have to, in this session, uh, delve into how much we love and respect the power of pure, unadulterated, uncut, therapeutic grade essential oils. We all know that on this call. So, however, on October 6th, we may, we will do a little bit more about verifying and validating and offering uh, scientific information that validates how efficacious, how, how very perfect they are for the human being in this time. Um, <clears throat> so, with that said, I'm wondering if each of you have available um, your oils, or do we need to take a, a minute or two to gather some of the oils up? Yes. Has some Paul? I'm going to gather. Has some Paul? <laughs> Put yourself on mute when you're calling him, Sai. What oils will we be using? Lavender, frankincense, stress away. I'll oh, come in. And then if you have inner child or release. Yes, I have inner child. Wait, let me see. Oh, let me see what she says. Lavender, frankincense, inner child. Uh, also, valor or clarity or grounding. If you have okay. a um, valor, bring the box of oils for me. Grounding. Yeah, I am going to need to get the box. I'm going to go find my uh, one more oil. Stress away. Did she say stress away? I think so. Okay. Put these in small pieces. And you can eat this up from the tea. This very good. Very good. I like that. I do have some valor. I don't know. All right. So we're still recording, so let's um getting back on track. What we're to do, the first thing we are to do is to ground ourselves using our valor, our um clarity or our grounding blend oil. I think, Frank, yeah. you have um, Valor in your kit. It's a, it's, it has a purple label, I believe. And, um, <clears throat> you know, that's what we'll start with to ground ourselves. We'll use it under our feet or at our wrists to deeply inhale and ground us in our task at hand. And um, <clears throat> that'll be the first thing that we want to do. So what we're doing is getting grounded for the purpose of having a, a, a base, a foundation of our authentic self on which to do this work of aroma freedom, of looking at what may be in the way of our goals, our intentions, that some of us have had for many, many years. And, it, and, and then we're finding that we're, we still can't achieve that goal or realize that intention. 
So the work is to get grounded first. And I'm going to use um, clarity right now under my feet. Oh, we don't mix it? No, no, we no. Don't no. Mix no, the, the grounding or the clarity or the valor is whichever one you would like to ground you. You don't have to use them all together. <laughs> you don't have to use them all together. <laughs> oh, yeah, some of this. Some of this. Clarity and valor and what's the name? They're together. Okay, so I was going to say <laughs> some of their features might cancel each other out, but if that's what you've done already, that's what your body yeah. decided it was needed. <laughs> so um, remember, whatever you're doing under your feet or at your wrist, you also want to inhale deeply. Give thanks, give thanks, give thanks. Okay. Looks like we lost um, Bashar, but maybe he'll come back. <clears throat> so, all right then. So are we feeling more grounded now? The second step, if we are, is to get, get our intention um, focused. And, and, and written down, if we can. I think all of you are at home, you should be able to do that. So that's the next piece, to actually write down your intention, your goal that you have in mind, that just comes to mind. It could be a simple one. We just, we're working this aroma freedom technique and, um, We'll do a little sharing in a moment, but I just want you to get this, this information, this intention down that has come to you since you grounded yourself. Um, <clears throat> I'll be doing that too. Uh, let's see. I should share, as I shared with, with uh, Sai before you, Olga, and you, Frank, came on, and before if you're listening, that I got a check today that I didn't expect. And I was so, so happy. Hello. Hello. Yes, John. Back. How are you? yes, sir. How are you? Okay. 